The Florida Aquarium has made history. Scientists there have successfully planted a new hybrid coral called Flandurin on the artificial reef. This is off the coast of Miami, and it's aptly named. It's a crossbreed of Florida and Honduran corals that could help boost genetic diversity and help these reefs better withstand heat and storm. So uh, let's talk about this. This is big time. To tell us more about it, we're joined by Kerry O'Neill. She's the senior scientist and the director of Coral Conservation Program at the Florida Aquarium. Kerry, uh, thanks so much for being here with us on Fox Weather. Wonderful to have you, especially as a former Tampa guy. I love the Florida Aquarium. And this is a really cool project you've been working on. Uh, how did the hybrid coral come to be? Yeah, thank you for having me, Ian. Um, this is a project that's been years in the making between Telemarine and Honduras, the University of Miami and Dr. Andrew Baker, and our coral conservation program at the Florida Aquarium. It all started with um, importing some fragments of Elkhorn coral from Tele Bay in Honduras, which is this really warm bay off mainland Honduras where the Elkhorn coral are thriving. Uh, so we, the University of Miami was able to import fragments of coral from this bay, and we brought seven of those to the Florida Aquarium Coral Conservation Program in Apollo Beach. And at our center in Apollo Beach, we already have a very active Elkhorn coral breeding program for Florida's corals. So we were able to get pieces of these Honduran corals to spawn on the same days as pieces of Elkhorn coral from Florida, which was, you know, just epic that we were able to get that done on the, on the first try. This was last July. And we were able to cross the eggs and sperm from Honduras with those from Florida. So we have what we lovingly call the Flandern coral babies now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like uh, it's like the X-Men of coral. And, and it sounds as though it'll it'll help it stand up to some of the conditions. And we know about some of the problems we've had with the, the coral population. What's next? So you have this tremendous success. Everybody's excited. Do you plant this now? out on the, the artificial reef off of Miami? Yeah, so in early July, the University of Miami planted the first 35 Flandern corals, along with 35, what we say, the purebred Florida corals. And these little corals are just a pilot project. We wanted to get them out there this summer to make sure that they go through the heat of the summer. And we're really hoping that these corals bring some of that heat resilience into the Florida population. It's similar to what was done for the Florida panther, where they brought other individuals actually from Texas into the Florida population to help boost that genetic diversity. We're trying to do a very similar thing with Elkhorn corals. We want to increase the diversity and help them be able to adapt to warming temperatures. And you can't really overstate the, the importance of these coral reefs. They, they do a million different things, but we know as we move into the heart of the hurricane season, they do play a big role in, in storm protection, acting as a, a natural barrier against surge. Did that play at all into where you guys are, are placing these or, or will it in the future? It certainly will in the future. You know, these 35 tiny corals aren't going to magically right. save our coastline this summer, right? Um, this is the beginning of a very large project. But Elkhorn coral at one time was the one of the most common corals that we would find along our coastline in Florida and throughout the Caribbean. And they form these really large thickets that can grow right up to the surface with big, thick branches that break wave energy. So if we can create a, a sort of bloodline of Elkhorn coral that can live and thrive again in Florida's waters that can help keep our reef strong and keep it um, solid so that it continues to protect our coastline. Yeah, like a, a living, breathing uh, flood wall, right? Like a exactly. barrier protection. It, it's a huge deal. And that, that's, a, that's a pretty cool project. So uh, congratulations on the success so far. Uh, please keep us posted as you uh, work on through the project. That's Kerry O'Neill with the Florida Aquarium. Thank you. Thank you.